Hello, hi, long shine here, Captain Harbin, and this is Prison of Lies. Now, Prison of Lies is a psychological visual novel about four prisoners who have to decide in one hour which one of them is going to get executed. So it's it's pretty high-strung stuff, but uh, let's check it out together. This is Prison of Lies. Four prisoners on death row have been cleared of all charges. However, this year the quota for executions at the prison is 100. So far, there have been 99 executions. And it's December 31st, so last day of the year. The innocent prisoners have been locked in a room. All of them have been fitted with a lie detector. They each must make the case for their life. They have one hour to decide which one of them will die. Alright, that's fucked up. <laughs> Warden. I know this must seem harsh, but we're really in a bind here. One of you must die, after all. We simply have to meet the quota where our, our government funding is cut. I'm very sorry about this. The reason why I thought you all should be the ones to decide is that it seems fair to me than a judge or an independent body making the call. Of course, in the event of a tie, we will execute two prisoners and exceed expectations. I want all of you to be satisfied with your final choice. To feel like you have made the right decision. To feel like you got a fair shake. That's why I'm introducing these lie detectors. I want everyone to be open with one another, to have a talk based solely on truth. When someone is lying, it will beep and make a fuss. Like this. I am an elephant. Right, so he lied, so... <laughs> you see? So please, have an honest conversation. Good luck. And remember, be respectful of one another. Don't talk to each other like you're hardened criminals. Because everyone in this room has been found innocent. So that's a lie. See you in an hour. We started at the door. Uh, we stared at the door in, shun in stunned silence, not shunned. Did that mean what we thought it meant? We were all afraid to speak. And yet, time was ticking on. Chapter 1 The Hour Mark That's how it all begins. The deliberation to, to decide who dies. Okay, what was that? Is he saying one of us is actually guilty? Yes, that's what he must have meant. It's troubling. What are you talking about, Q? This is great! The whole reason we're in here is basically to sentence an innocent person to death. But the warden just inadvertently revealed that one of us isn't actually innocent. If we can just figure out who it was, then that person will be obviously the, will be the obvious choice. Oh, I had thought about it like that, I guess. You're getting ahead of yourself, Jay. Remember his precise wording. Everyone in this room has been found innocent. We know he was lying when he said that, but that doesn't necessarily mean one of us is guilty. I don't get it. There's nothing else that, that uh, he could have meant, right? No. It was the way he phrased it. Since he was in the room at the time, when he said in this room, that would just mean it was a lie because the warden himself hasn't been found innocent because he's never committed the crime. Exactly. Oh well. Does this mean we're going to have to sentence an innocent person to death after all? To be honest, I don't give a crap as long as it's not me. This place has put me through hell for nothing. 
I would like to ask everyone, do they agree with V? Was the warden's lie that he, being among those present in the room, was never convicted and then found innocent of a crime? Yep, I think that as soon as we can get it into our heads that uh, we will be executing an innocent person, the better. Because then it just becomes about winning the personality olympics and as you can see I'm competing on a national level. Yes, I agree. Let's not go into suspecting one another of not actually being innocent. I believe in my heart that all of you are innocent and that's what counts. Personally, I was conflicted, but you all have uh, you all convinced me. Let's move on and formally introduce ourselves. I'm Q. I have been on death row for six years. I was charged with being an accomplice to murder. What happened was that I was in the back seat of my car waiting to pick up my friend A. What I didn't know was that A just murdered his narcotics dealer. I became an unwitting getaway driver. I had no evidence that I wasn't aware of his crime. But he had evidence that his shirt was covered in blood when he got in the car. He claimed there was no way I could have missed the blood. Both of us ended on death row. On death row. He was executed last year. I was find, uh, found innocent when the courts re-reviewed my case. A detective proved that A had worn his shirt backwards in order to conceal the blood from me. Feel free to ask me any questions you want. How did they prove that? A traffic cam photo showed the shirt tag poking out below his deck, his neck. Not his deck, his neck. Did you know the narcotics dealer? I did not know him. How did you feel about his crime? Horrible. Murdering someone is horrible. It's a horrible, horrible crime. I'm actually in favor of the death penalty, ironically. I was glad when he died. Well, no lies there. Q clearly did nothing wrong in that case. We'd have to dig deeper to uncover a reason why she should be executed. I agree. I will go next. I'm V. I've been here for one year. I was charged with murder. Whoa! Hmm. Just seeing if it still worked. The truth is, as, uh, is that I was involved in a robbery. I broke the window to get inside and shot at someone and missed. Apparently attempted murder was, uh, attended, uh, attempted murder, attempted murder was a state capital offense in 2009. But it's not anymore. I don't think I deserve to be executed. I learned from my mistake. I never want to shoot anyone again. What did you steal? I didn't get a chance to steal anything. Police arrived on the scene immediately. It happened so fast. Where'd you get the gun? I bought it. They're easy to buy and I had no prior convictions. Hmm. The only conviction here is the convic conviction uh, I have that you are innocent. Right. We're all innocent, Jay. Do we have to have this conversation again? Uh, sorry. Anyway, I'll go next. I'm E. I was accused of shooting at a police officer. However, I did not. I did, however, witness the officer who accused me tasing a defenseless suspect to death. And I also had a gun on me at the time. It was easy to pin that false story on me. Who would have doubted the word of someone in a blue uniform? He got to keep his job and I've been stuck in death row or on death row for 8 years. Whoa. Recently an activist group called Free From Death funded a reinvestigation of my case. They found that the original investigation had been incredibly biased. What a shock. Anyway, that's why I'm here. Personally, I think we should decide who gets to live based on who's had to be in here the longest. 
And yeah, because she's been here for eight years, right? What do you guys think? Interesting. I would have no problem with that. Hold on a minute. We should be judging the merits of the person, not how long they've been in prison. Of course you would say that. One year, was it? <laughs> guys, let me put an end to this right away. I've also been here for only one year. So that doesn't help you decide. But you both can't have been here for exactly the same amount of time. Splitting hairs now? How long is enough? 11 months? 13 months? I'm not gonna say how long I've been here, and neither will be. Hmm, I guess you're right. We should focus on who the person is. Fine. But I clearly deserve to live more than any of you. I don't saying that doesn't win me any points, but it's how I feel. And you know that's true, because the lie detector isn't going off. Well, we haven't heard from Jay yet. Right now I agree with you that you deserve to be saved the most, E. But maybe that will change. Fair enough. What's your story, Jay? Don't change the subject, E. I still have some questions. Go right ahead. How did you know the suspect that got tased was defenseless? Didn't try to defend him himself. Hmm, very well. Isn't tasing non-lethal? How come the person being tased died? Tasing can be lethal if the victim had certain medical conditions. I forget what those are, but he uh, might have had one. Hmm, but does it really make sense to blame the police officer in this case? They were detaining a suspect. Did you miss the part where the suspect didn't defend himself? Or when the cop falsely accused me of shooting at him, sending me to death row for 8 years for nothing? Fair enough. Kind of quick to defend a police officer, aren't you, V? It's how I, I was raised to be. I do see abuse by police officers, but I think there are a lot of good cops out there too. This ain't about good cop, bad cop. It's a systemic issue. Anyway, we don't have time for this right now. Do you have any other questions? No? Go ahead, Jay. I'm Jay, as you know. Uh, the reason I'm on this row is pretty weird. Did you know that treason is a federal capital offense? And one of the definitions of treason is giving aid and shelter to an enemy of the United States? So, a funny thing happened on my trip to South Korea. Oh boy, I hope this won't take too long. Well, the short version is, I smuggled a few cartons of ocean fresh melon berry juice into North Korea. Now, you can't actually be convicted of treason unless you have two witnesses, or you confess. And I confess because I knew it was wrong for me to smuggle two cartons of ocean fresh melon berry into North Korea. And so, I wound up here on death row. That's the stupidest thing I've ever heard. It's so ridiculous, and yet the lie detector isn't going off, so it must be true. And how were you cleared of the, your charges, Jay? Because it turns out that specific kind of juice, ocean fresh melon berry, is actually in North Korea. They reopened my case and a judge decided that since I was giving people in North Korea something they already had, it wasn't really aid. Hmm, who were you giving ocean fresh melon berry to? Well, my friend in South Korea has relatives in North Korea. That's who it was. In my opinion, Jay should be executed. What? Everyone else has faced a gravely serious hardship. Jay's reason for being here is nothing but bad soap opera shenanigans. You really want to execute someone over ocean fresh melon berry smuggling? Wouldn't that just heighten the absurdity of Jay's situation? She suffered on death row for a year over something so inane. That puts her further down my list personally. 
just trying to find a foothold. We need some reason to ex execute one of us. We're all almost at the half hour mark. There has to be some criteria we can measure this off of, right? Hair color? Hearing everyone's stories, I admit I don't know who to vote for. Everyone's managed to be truthful. And we all seem to have been char charged with fairly innocuous crimes. I don't want to execute anyone based on just an hour of getting to know them. I don't care what the warden said. This seems deeply unfair. It seems unfair, but maybe it doesn't have to be. We failed to put a good use of an important tool that the warden gave us. The lie detector. I'm not sure what you mean, V. Well, I've heard your stories about your convictions, but that doesn't tell me anything. I came in knowing you were found innocent. But that doesn't mean you are innocent. In order to claim that you are innocent, in general, you have to truly believe that you've never done anything horribly wrong. This would be a very clear litmus test. If we all fail, we could think of something else. I wouldn't bring it up, but uh, if I didn't think, I had a 100% chance of success. I can't imagine that would help. Even you must feel guilty about something, V. That's human nature. Is it? Maybe you only think that because you yourself feel guilty about something, eh? Alright then, prove it. Very well. I am innocent. See? Not lying. Your turn. What? Is the lie detector broken? I'm an elephant. Guess not. Very well. I never back down from a challenge. I'm innocent. Well, maybe it's phrased a little vaguely. I am innocent. Hmm, it works. How about you, Jay? Crap. How was I supposed to do this? Nobody on the planet really believes they're truly innocent. Everyone must have something they're guilty about, right? I knew I did. Uh, I knew I did. But since it worked for them, maybe it would work for me too. I just had to force myself to believe it. Alright. I'm innocent. I'm innocent! What? It must be wrong! Help! It's doing this for no reason! I can't stop it! I'm not lying! Whoa... Is it too late to resurrect that guilty one among us theory? It was a good idea, V. Who knew that such a simple question would trip up Jay this badly? She's clearly hiding something. I'm not hiding anything! You could eliminate all suspicion if you just tell us what you feel guilty about. There's nothing to say! I'm telling the truth! Whoa, we didn't even need the full hour. I think we should vote right away. We shouldn't rush this. It is her life after all. I have a different idea. We'll sit here and wait until Jay decides to be fully honest with us. You have 35 minutes to think about this, Jay. Fine. If that's what you guys want. Then that's what we'll do. That was not a good idea. Over the next 5 minutes I kept hoping someone would change their mind about me. I couldn't help but feel like I'm falling into a trap. The main issue was, I hadn't always been such a great person, but I had been forgiven for my mistakes and I thought that I had, I had forgiven myself. Apparently not. Suspicion is powerful. Once it starts, it's hard to escape it. I was afraid that I would still not be believed, but seeing as my life was on the line, I had to try. Fine. It's hard for me to say that I'm innocent, I'm an innocent person because I basically destroyed my own life. I abused every substance you can think of, but most of all, I abused myself for it. That's the reason why I couldn't say I'm innocent. Oh, more lying. There she goes again. Don't you get it? 
I'll never be able to cover everything I think I'm guilty of. I would. It would take more than an hour. Why don't you trust me when I say I'm a good person? That's why. There must be something you're hiding. Oh, that's not good. It was worth a shot. Did I really have to go through my entire life to save it? There were a lot of things I didn't want to revisit. How could you possibly judge all of that within an hour? And yet it seemed like everyone else had made up their minds. Oh no, and the time is ticking. Clock is ticking away. And the hour... Finishes. The rest of the time passed in uncomfortable silence. Nobody met my eyes, except E, but they were cold. I felt extremely alone. First I had been caught up in this ridiculous North Korea thing. Now this... It just wasn't fair. I had done nothing to deserve it. Maybe I hadn't been witty enough. Maybe there had been a way to avoid saying I'm innocent. Maybe I should have attempted going over my whole life. But then again, this wasn't entirely about me. It was about them. They needed someone to execute. Nobody seemed to deserve it. Maybe they knew in their heads that I was actually innocent. They just needed someone to take the fall. That's what I chose to believe. Anything else would have been too depressing. It was already feeling my guilt even more. By the time we entered our votes, I was ready to die. Wait, so what? That That's it? We died? Three prisoners voted for J. Oh crap. So J died. One prisoner voted for E. J was executed on January 1st, 2011. But she wasn't the guilty one. Hmm. Is this the end? Is... Nah. You were executed. Well, let's try again. Because this is not the end. This is all part of the first chapter. Yes. Rewind time. Suddenly, I've gotten the strangest feeling that I was about to do something wrong. Everyone else had been able to say they were innocent, but it might have been different for me. Did I really believe I was innocent myself? I didn't really know the answer, but if I wasn't able to answer the, this question, I would look really suspicious. There had to be something I could do to beat the lie detector. I remember something about people learning to fool lie detectors before. Stupid brain! Why couldn't it just work? Okay, okay. Maybe there was a way to rephrase the question. No, that would just look suspicious. I racked up my brain searching for the answer. When I finally thought of something. The reason the lie detector goes off is because you know the words you're saying are a lie. But what if there was a disconnect between what you said and what you actually believed? What if you were saying something that was technically true, but it could be misinterpreted by other people to be something else? And what if that something else was the lie? A uh, half-truth. Could this be it? There was only one way to find out. So let's construct a, construct a half-truth. So I can choose for I. By I, I don't mean myself. By I, I mean a company called I. No. Am. By am, I mean I self-identify as, or I mean I exist. And innocent. By innocent, I mean not guilty, cleared of charges, or naive. Okay, so cleared of charges was the... Okay, wait. So you can choose something else. But uh, really the only option here would be clear of charges. So when, when, when I say I'm innocent, what, what I'm thinking of is that I was cleared of, of charges. But it doesn't mean that I'm innocent, I'm just innocent of this specific thing. And if I just focus on this thing, maybe it's gonna work. Ah, of course! 
even if I didn't believe I was innocent, generally speaking, I was still cleared of all my charges. If I thought about it like that, then saying I'm innocent would be true. The only problem was making sure that would be what I was thinking and that others, uh, other thoughts didn't slip into my brain. It would take a lot of focus, but it was worth a try. I'm innocent. I was cleared of all charges. Hmm. Well, that's everyone. Guess we'll have to come up with another way to figure out who to execute. It worked! I almost couldn't believe it. I felt like I just barely avoided a disaster. Well, an execution, definitely. But time was ticking on, and I had to come up with a whole new game plan. Or I would end up on the chopping block. Fortunately, I discovered a new ability. I had a feeling it would be very useful. Well, let's see. May be useful as we go into chapter 2. Half. Half hour. Right. I was gonna say half truths, but it's half hour. Actually, let me... Yeah, let's save. And continue. Chapter 2. Okay, we only got 30 minutes to figure this, out, this one out. Your I am innocent plan didn't seem to help very much, V. Hmm. All of us are innocent people. I don't buy it. Then what was the point of doing that? It's time to do the hard work of judging character. To me, there's only one person who's been nothing but aggressive and cranky this whole time. E. Knock it off. You don't scare me. Do you think I'm going to play nice now? As I said, I wasn't here for 8 years. That's the better part of a decade. You think that makes you special? You were probably in, the, in your pretties when you got in. What value would you, have off, uh, would you have been offering society? What are you talking about? I was a dishwasher. Exactly. While you were washing dishes, I was a criminal defense lawyer working for free. Don't you think that makes me a little more valuable to the rest of society? Oh, we're on there that now, okay. Value of, uh, uh, with, for society, that's interesting. What kind of criminal defense lawyer hangs with people who know narcotics dealers? I think you just answered your own question. Really? I was still in college, so I can't say I was helping society all that much. Did you donate to charity at all? Mm, I thought about whether or not to use my newfound ability. But figured it would have been better if used somewhere else. Nah. I didn't donate to charity, however, I devoted myself to community volunteer work often. Well, aren't you an angel? This doesn't seem to be getting us anywhere. Yes, it does. The value of volunteer work vastly over uh, outweighs dishwashing. And being a college student, is, uh, college student isn't particularly valueless. Participating, participating in our broken education system is an important thing to do. Wait, is it? The only one here who doesn't seem to have contributed anything of value to society is you, E. Calm down. You think you have me in a corner? Far from it. If you recall, I only said I was dishwashing at the time when I was incarcerated. I was washing dishes for an upscale restaurant, which was part of my transition from my last job of volunteer chef at the soup kitchen. My real passion has always been cooking. Cooking? Cooking? Really? Hmm. Very well, you could have said that earlier. I'm not sure you have much standing in this area, Q. Don't criminal defense lawyers typically help criminals get out of prison sentences? As I'm sure you're aware of V, it's unfair to label everyone who goes to prison as a criminal. It's true that criminal defense lawyers sometimes have to represent people that they know probably aren't innocent. However, you have to trust the system. Well, I don't. I'm not thrilled to find out you're a lawyer either, Q. Did you think that would make a, full, a room full of prisoners like you? 
It was my defense lawyer that screwed up and got me put away in the first place when I was innocent. What do you mean, E? We don't know if he was a terrible lawyer or not. Maybe she was able to prevent situations like ours, we don't know. Easy way to find out. Q, are you a terrible lawyer? I am not a terrible lawyer. Hmm, well, she believes it anyway. If that's really true, then I guess the person who added least to society here really was Jay. It's hard to argue she added more to society than any of us as a college student. Is there anything you can think of that you did to uh, that value society as a whole, Jay? Crap. Again, in a corner. Um... Would this be a good time to use my ability? It certainly would make me look better. However, it would be tricky to even come up with examples of things I've done to help society. I've been pretty selfish. But did that make me worthy of being executed? Was there some way to keep the conversation from being focused around my failures? Nothing's coming to mind. Give me a second. Any volunteer work? Aha! This would be a good time to use my ability. I just hope I wouldn't dig myself even deep, uh, dig in an even, I wouldn't dig an even deeper hole for myself. Yes! I once volunteered to look after my friend's cat. Care to elaborate? Uh, I did volunteer work for two to three hours a day. Oh. I was going to need more details. Fortunately, my volunteer work had plenty of material for half-truths. Alright, let's construct another half-truth. I was looking after. By I was looking after, I meant I was looking at. No. Uh, I meant I was in the same room with them. No. Someone. By someone, I meant someone famous. I meant myself. I meant my friend's cat. I meant a cardboard cutout shaped like a person. Uh, cat. Let's say we mean the cat. Who was disabled. Um, I mean they had pool or pool vision? No, poor vision. Oh, sorry, it's poor vision. I meant they were missing their claws. I meant their legs had gone to sleep. A man who was disabled. Nobody who's... That's who. What? Okay, let's say that the cat didn't have any claws, maybe? Yeah, this would work, but I needed something else I, to really sell it. Let's see, my duties, uh, my values, my passions, including feeding and bathing. I mean, I could include feeding and bathing. Feeding myself and bathing myself. Feeding them air and bathing them with adoration. No, feeding and bathing the cat, right? That, that makes sense. I was probably doing that. I meant giant ants, bunch of people. The cat, right. So she was feeding and bathing the cat. Right? Wait. No? That isn't it? Hmm, my passion. That's not it? Oh, just feeding and bathing, just that. Without without any hidden meaning. The half half truth would be that when I say them, I just mean the cat. I was looking after someone who was disabled. The cat has been declawed. My duties included feeding them and bathing them. Yeah, feeding and bathing the cat. Hmm, looking after disabled people is certainly something that benefits society. Great, so now what? I hate finding out how wonderful everyone here is. We're about 40 minutes in and getting nowhere fast. I say we go back to my original plan again. We should all vote for J or V. Both of them only spent a year in here. I think I've made up my mind on this. I don't really care what anyone else says. That's the best way to decide. Well, that is a good point. The idea is starting to grow on me, especially since we're running out of time and nobody has come up with a better idea. Crap. That's not good. E was quick quickly becoming my biggest threat. If she managed to convince Q that it was between me and V, there were 
a few scenarios and none of them look good. Scenario 1, the best outcome. Both E and Q vote for V, I vote for V, V votes for one of them, V ex is executed with 3 votes. Scenario 2, the second best outcome. If E and Q vote for both me and V, and me and V both for the same person, either Q or E, either Q or E are executed, which leaves only the worst outcome. Q, E and V all vote for me. I am executed. The key to avoid the worst outcome would be convincing V not to vote for me. But if she was convinced that E and Q would be deciding between the two of us, she would probably do what I would do in that case, vote for me to tip the balance away from herself. Assuming V would always vote for me, because you know, we're the closest ones in terms of the, the prison sentence, we're all, we've only been in prison for one year, I would vote for, uh, I would vote for V, sorry, and assuming that I would vote for V left only one scenario in which I wasn't killed. If both Q and uh, Q and E voted for V, and the warden had specified, specified that would happen if the vote was tied. What would happen if the vote was tied? We both would die, okay. So we, we need to deflect and maybe make people vote for V, for her. Is something wrong, Jay? You look a little pale. There was only one surefire way out of this. To use my ability, not to defend myself, but to attack. If I could convince V to vote for E instead of me, that left only one scenario where I would where I would be killed. If both Q and E vote for me, creating a tie between me and E. Much better odds. Okay, so I'm gonna throw E under the bus. I just realized something. And I think it may be relevant. Oh, time for some half-truths? I had to smear V. Sorry, E. It was the only option. Let's see, I've heard... I've heard people talking of E. I mean the letter E or the person before. I've heard of the letter E before, right? That's not a lie. I didn't like doing this to E. But I didn't have a choice. Uh, but she was charged with something else. Charged with... Mm, something else. Oh! She was char charged with being a uh, curmudgeon. Right? Charged with... Accused. Because someone's... Um, who said that? Uh, Q said that. Q... Uh, you know said that he was grumpy and mean and everything I didn't know what would happen if they realized I was lying but it couldn't be worse than the current situation right she was lying so he was lying she, uh, she so he was lying I mean when she said she was in the personality Olympics yes I mean she was kidding but I could use it as a prop, right? Because it's it's a it's true. If I say that E was lying when she said that she was in the personality Olympics, that's a true statement. Although she was making a joke, it's still you know a lie. So right, let's try that. I've heard of E before. I heard of the alphabet letter E before. That's what I'm thinking in my head. She, were cl she was cleared of all her death row uh, crime charges, but she was charged with something else. She was charged by being a, a curmudgeon by Q. She was lying. She was lying when she said she was in the Personality Olympics. Right, all of them are true. It's just they're very specific truths. Hmm, but you seem to be telling the us the truth. Where did you hear about EJ? On television. On Sesame Street. Yeah, of course. Of course they do, you know. That's a mean thing to say, Jay. It hurts my feelings. Hurts your feelings? Wait a minute. Are you unable to completely deny Jay Jay's claim, E? Whoa, what just happened? I... Uh... 
That's definitely suspicious. Listen. Listen. Jay's lying. Oh, we got that. We got that beeping sound. I was never charged with any other crime. Damn it. I thought I could fool the lie detector if I shouted it out strongly enough. Guess I was wrong. You have a lot to answer for, E. And you'd better have a good explanation. I thought I could trust you, E. I can't believe you tried to lie to us. In my desperation, I'd stumbled upon something. Maybe there was an easy solution to this whole mess after all. After all. The guilty among us theory was rearing its head again, and it looked like I wasn't the target. I'd managed to defend myself, but at what cost? Well, throwing E under the bus. Oh, we're going to chapter 3, with 10 minutes left on the clock. Can I save? Yes. Okay. Let's go. 10 minutes left. So, you think you got me? Well, it certainly seems like it. Huh. <laughs> I'm tougher than I look. You can't bring me down like this. You look pretty tough. E, don't, don't worry. I'll admit that what Jay claimed is true. I was cleared of all charges of my, for my death row crime. However, prior to that I was charged with neglecting to pay my rent. It was a bad month for me. Hmm, is that everything you were charged with? Uh, no. I was also charged with assault. Assault? I think we'll need more details. I spat at someone. Spitting on someone is assault, apparently. Hmm, that is true. Hmm, well, I can't say that uh, it sounds that bad to me, personally. Great. We're, uh, uh, were we back at square one? Well, hopefully not. I disagree. Right now, we're in a precarious situation. We had we have less than 10 minutes left to decide who's going to die. Even a little negative, uh, yeah, like spitting on someone, should count for something. We're running out of uh, footholds. This can't be a random choice. I agree. But to be fair to E, I don't think spitting on someone really merits much. However, there's someone here who shot at a police officer. Out of all our stories, I think her pain, uh, hers paints her in the worst possible light. Oh, that's V, right? V shot. Oh, really? This is coming from the person stupid enough to send juice to North Korea? Please spare me. Thanks, E. Actually, I agree with Jay. V was charged with attempted murder, which is worse than any of us. She's only been cleared because of a technicality. It's been obvious all along. Sorry about this, V. But we've got to vote for somebody. I understand. I understand the desire to vote for somebody. Anybody. But please believe me. I do not deserve to die. Uh, you certainly seem to believe it yourself. Please, trust me. You don't know the full truth. What? Wait, you're not lying. So does that mean you have been lying? Technically, I've not been lying. However, I do. Uh, I have not been entirely forthcoming with information. Kind of sounds like lying to me. I cannot tell you exactly what I mean, for certain reasons. Come on, what do you have to lose? This is getting annoying. Sounds like a trick. The thing is, you aren't telling us... Uh, the thing you aren't telling us could be an awful crime that you committed. I have never committed any crimes. Mm, what? But I thought you attempted murder. Or is that not a crime now? That's all I can tell you. Oh, come on, what, what does she mean? What do you mean she, why, why is she being so suspicious? Just please, think for a second about what I might be trying to say. 
Under what circumstances is shooting at someone not actually a crime? Did she mean shooting in defense? But robbing a place was still a crime, so how could she have claimed to be innocent? I had no idea myself. I looked around at everyone searching for a clue in their expressions. His eyes had a glint. Well, 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 well. I think I might know exactly what you're talking about, V. See if you can answer this question. Who were you shooting at? I can't answer that question. Hmm, I thought so. Everyone, vote for V. What? She can't be trusted. She's been lying about who she is. You've been pretty suspicious yourself, E. Even without taking your personality into account, you've lied and deflected. I don't trust you. Good to know. Q, you've been quick to change your mind about a number of things. Are you sure about anything? Or are you just weighing popular opinion and, conf uh, and conforming to it? If you're implying that makes me uh, that makes me suspicious as opposed to open-minded, open-minded, then I have to disagree. It's just an observation, right? Well, she she's flip-flopping a lot. Q. Jay, you've been letting yourself slip into the background for a while now, but looking back, a lot of your answers were strange. You've been kind of vague about a few things. Oh crap. And I find it incredibly hard to believe that the story you told us about your crime was true. Did you just... Uh, did you leave anything out? Of course there were parts I left out. I told you it's a long, boring story. Yeah, I'm voting for North Korea girl. What? Why? I thought she was voting for V. Either her V. Okay, okay. I'm voting for you, E. I'm voting for J. Oh, come on, we're all voting each other? They weren't leaving me with much of a choice. I'm voting for V. If I do, E will be more likely to also vote for V. Right, E? Possibly. Vote with me, J. E's been rude to everyone this whole hour. Yeah, but... Uh, rude, that, rude doesn't make it... You know... You know that, that That's not a reason to kill someone. To have someone killed. I've changed my mind. I'm also voting for E. Don't know what I was thinking. She's the obvious choice. Okay, so now V and Q are supposed to vote with E. So... You shouldn't do that. Remember the rule about ties? If me and J vote for you, and you and Q vote for me, then both of me and you die. Both me and you die. True. J, vote for E. I didn't know what to do at all. Stupid, stupid brain. Uh, I know that time's almost up. But look, here's the deal. E, if you tell me what V's, uh, V's secret is, I will vote with you. V, if you tell me what your secret is first, I'll vote with you. Fine. My secret is that I wasn't a robber. I was an employee at the bank. Oh, wait, that changes everything. Why did you arrest? Why did they arrest you then? That isn't the whole truth, though, V. I remember during her statement, V said I broke the window to get inside. How many bank breakings involve breaking and entering through a window? Sounds more like a home invasion to me. Not necessarily. Well then, she should have no trouble clarifying. Was it a home invasion, V? Fine. The incident where I fired my gun was a home invasion. Wait, then what was she hiding? V was never a robber. She was a police officer. You're wrong. Oh, there you go. It's true, but how did she lie about the, about that without sending off the lie detector? Don't play dumb, Q. 
as I'm sure you know, as I'm sure everyone in this room knows, the lie detector isn't infallible. It has an obvious weakness. Half truths. Exactly. Oh, so everyone was using half truths? Great. We only have a minute and a half left on the clock. Well, there's only one thing I'd like everyone to do. Please say I have never used half truths. I'll go first. I've never used half truths. I've never used half truths. I've never used half truths. So everyone, so everyone's lying. Great. I've never used half truths. Right. So everyone was using them. None of us knew what to say after that. Of course, because you can't trust anyone again. The whole hour seemed to be completely wasted. I shouldn't have been so surprised. Why would I assume that I was the only one who would outsmart the lie detector? I was an idiot, so of course everyone had, uh, else had figured it out. They'd probably figured it out before I did. The clock ticked down. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2... Last chapter, the vote. Alright, can I say first? Yes, okay. Let's go, the vote. The time has run out everyone. I hope that you have decide decided wisely. As part of the voting options, you will have the option of choosing yourself. Just in case you would like to be heroic. Oh crap. Wait, we can do that? Hmm, it's tempting. You should have said that at the beginning, Warden. Then maybe they wouldn't be in this mess. Wait a minute, they? Yes, my cover was blown just a few seconds ago, Q. The truth is, I'm not one of you. I have never been charged with a crime. I am in fact a guard at this prison. I was including among the group among the group to make sure none of you got violent. I'm glad it wasn't an issue. That truth was not supposed to be revealed until after the voting was over. But E figured it out. I may have given out too many hints. Wait, if we hadn't figured it out and we voted for you to die, I was never going to die. It was a trap. What? What do you mean? I think I know. Even though you three are all innocent, if you had to sentence one of the guard, one of the guards to death, obviously that would have uh, that would have been would have to be punished. Oh, then we would have gotten to execute all three of you, exceeding our quota. Oh, right, because that's a crime. That would have been a crime. Voting to execute a guard. You bastards! Why are you so mad, Jay? None of, uh, none of this was fair to begin with. I'm not surprised it was really like this. Your choices are... Jay, cleared of sending aid to North Korea. Q... Cleared of being an accomplice to murder, and E. Cleared of shooting at a police officer. Please vote wisely. Okay. I had no idea who to vote for. Maybe myself? No, I didn't want to die. But then again, who would I vote for otherwise? E and Q both seem to have been telling the truth. V was the one that had been that was lying. And yet both of them admittedly admitted to telling half-truths. And yet, I also told half-truths. Who could it be? Who could it possibly be? I was out of time. I had to vote. Okay, so who should we vote? Uh, let me see. So... Uh... 
that's kind of freaky. Okay, I'm voting for myself. Although... Hmm... I don't know. No, that's... that's Q. That's me. Let's vote for Q. She was way too, like, calm. Three prisoners voted for Q. Oh, nice! Q was executed on January 1st, 2011. Her last words were, The system is broken. Uh, well, yeah, that's true, yes. They didn't find the guilty one. I've been left off the hook. I was free. But uh, I was racked with guilt at executing an innocent person based on nothing. I had an overwhelming feeling, oh don't tell me she committed suicide or something, that there was, uh, that there really had been a guilty one. Thinking over everything that had happened the past hour, knowing that everyone had been using half-truths from the beginning, I knew I'd made a mistake, but it was too late. There was no way I could do it all over again. I had to live with my choice. Alright, so that was it? Okay, okay, okay. We have to choose someone someone else then. Okay, let's uh, replay the vote. Let's go quick and vote for uh, for E this time. Alright. Blah, 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 blah. Or vote for myself, maybe? I don't know, let's see. Let's see. Or would it matter? Because if everyone votes for Q... Well, let's see. Let's, let's, you know what, I'm gonna vote for myself. Let's see what happens if I vote for myself. And then I'm gonna leave the, the, the E vote open. All three prisoners voted for J. J was executed on January 1st, 2011. Her last words were, It makes me happy to know the others will go free. They didn't find the guilty one. Huh. Alright. So everyone, that was Prison of Lies. If you want to check it out yourself and maybe see the kind of the last option, see what that reveals, then you can check out the game. It is available on itch.io right now for Windows, Mac OS and Linux. Uh, you can download it for free or you can give the developer locked on, uh, you know, one, two, three, five, ten dollars, however much you like, you know, as support. Maybe leave some feedback too, see what you like, what you didn't like. I think it's, um, it, it's quite, it's quite a good project I think you know um, maybe I would have liked visually to have for it to have more content but in terms of the dialogues you know the premise it's uh, I think it's quite interesting so check it out it is available as I mentioned on itch.io just see the link in the description below thanks so much everyone for watching if you like this video please give it a thumbs up really quick and if you like what I do here, consider subscribing, that would be actually immensely, immensely helpful if you could subscribe, tell other people about the channel, spread the word, check out the back catalog too, because I have over 2200 videos on there, so you'll, dis you'll definitely discover loads of cool games, mostly indie games on there. And if you can, please take half a minute to see the ways through which you can support me, they're all in the, in the description below. You can either give me a direct donation through PayPal or you can support me with the purchases that you make on the Epic Games Store, the Humble Store, Fanatical. All you have to do in those cases is either use an affiliate link or a creator tag uh, before or when you buy something. Uh, you don't pay anything extra, just to, to, to make that perfectly clear. You just do your shopping. You help me out with a, sm with a small percentage of the money you spend. Again, it costs you absolutely nothing. So it's a very small thing that you can do, but it goes a long way. Last but not least, check out the Brave Browser. Download it to the referral link. Um, the Brave Browser is based on Chromium, so it should be very familiar, familiar if you use Chrome already or Opera. I've been using it for more than uh, a month and a half now, almost two months, and it replaced Chrome for me. And it might just do that for you because it's uh, it's it's a, it's a really cool browser. It's a browser that puts a lot of emphasis on privacy. It comes with a built-in ad blocker. It blocks trackers. And the people there also have a really cool idea about a new type of ad ecosystem in which you can get paid if you choose to see ads, which is you know quite quite an interesting concept. 
that uh, you know it's it's being built right now and it's uh, it's it's you know um, hopefully it's it's gonna change how things go around the the web when it comes to advertising and you're not just a click farm for others to make billions of dollars and you know you, you, you can get a piece of the ad pie so that would be really cool so check out the brave browser everyone thanks so much for watching until the next time we see each other as always have an awesome day